Remind me. Hey guys! Hi! So, we wanted to make sure we came live to you tonight and we did a little cocktail hour, some skinny cocktails for you. It's Katie's favorite hour. <laughs> <laughs> um, but we already made some for you so Katie I'm gonna how do I switch this all right I'm gonna have you you can here we'll show you guys first of all how cute this is look at all these little garnishes because um, they're all like Christmas and holiday in color and then we've got some other things in here too like the chocolate donut flavoring we use stevia for some sweetener instead of like honey or sugar because that keeps it locale we have some juice over here, some espresso, then we have mint, strawberry, lime, pomegranate, lemon, and cucumber. So it's super duper cute. You guys, the funniest part about this is not one of us <laughs> had to go to the store to get the alcohol. <laughs> so if that tells you anything about how much fun we like to have, there you go. So I'm going to move this out of the way. And I'll just tell you really quick, because we made a couple before, and then we're going to make some for you as well. But if you see this one right here, super easy, super pretty. Um, it's literally just four ounces of red wine. And then we did four ounces of, where'd it go? The can's over here. And then we just did four ounces of cranberry lime seltzer you can get any brand you want you guys or you can do any flavor seltzer you want or you can just go plain um to make yourself a little spritzer and then of course just throwing the lime on there i mean literally that took nothing so cute it looks adorable and Katie's it tastes. so they can see <laughs> <laughs> and and very good very good all right i'm the winner i think i have to try it too <laughs> I don't love red wine, but I'll try mm. it. Oh, I think you will like that. That's really yeah. delicious. That may be a way to it's very refreshing. Like and the other thing is, too, you guys, oh, it tastes like grape soda. Yeah. For some of your, oh my gosh, it really. For does. some of your guests that like aren't huge drinkers but want to keep something in their hand, it's gonna be like not only low calorie, but it's also going to be like not as much alcohol, but with a lot of content, so they can sip this and like walk around with it. Here, you put that over there. Mm -hmm. And it's okay if it gets a little warm because it's red wine. Exactly. All right, now this guy right here. What are we calling this? Ooh, we don't know. We pretty, don't pretty in pink. Pretty. Yes. Pink. <laughs> we don't. Have, we don't have a name for this. You guys, maybe in the comment section you can drop a name of what you think this pretty one should be named. Yeah. But what it is is it's simply just sparkling rosé and a splash of Saint Germain. So you're talking less than 100 calories. Looks super duper pretty. Um. Takes two seconds to make. Kat, are you going to drink it or just keep spinning it? <laughs> I'm spinning it. Let's taste. I don't want this to fall off, so let's do this. Okay. <laughs> Ooh. It's good. This could be my all-night cocktail. On a okay. scale of one to... <laughs> On a scale from one to... <laughs> See, look. We all have to try it. All that's in that one mm. are these super cute... That one's actually really good, actually... That lemon on the side mm -hmm. totally adds something to Absolutely. it. So don't forget your lemon garnish because that was really yummy. Katie? <laughs> <laughs> what did we put in that one? All right. So this we, one right here. We didn't say what was in that one. Yeah, we did. We did? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, it's it this brand. How many have you had? <laughs> it, was just, it was just sparkling rose and a little bit of Saint Germain, which is right behind Kat. Any Saint Germain is pretty much like the most pretty bottle of alcohol ever. And this is huge right here. But guys, with Saint Germain, you literally just need like a drop or two, and it makes your flavor, like your drink is so good. All right, this one right here, guys, it's tequila, mm -hmm. it's a margarita, which screams. Joan, cry <laughs> drink me. Um, again, under 100 calories, and here's why. This drink typically takes agave in it, but instead we went ahead and we used the stevia. I get this liquid one. It's organic. You can get it in the natural food section, um, and it comes with a dropper. You literally only need a couple drops. You can also get the powder kind that comes with like a little spoon in it. That one kind of looks like you're putting cocaine in your drink. <laughs> Which, <laughs> fun but weird. <laughs> We're not that um, cool. Not that, not that kind of health and fitness team. So, um, but you know, if you whip that thing out at like a like at a, like a coffee shop, people look at you really funny. <laughs> so, anyways, what this is is it actually has muddled cucumber in it, um, 
It's muddled with lime juice and again, a little bit of the St. Germain. And then we use this beautiful tequila right here. I mean, you cannot get more pretty than this bottle. This is Class A Azul Reposado Tequila. You can do um, any type of Reposado. When I say any type, I say go get something that's actually good. So Don Julio Reposado or Casamigos, Avion, those are some brands um, that I would recommend. Herradura if you wanted to go like slightly cheaper, but a good Reposado. And you literally just take, do we have the cap to this? Mm -hmm. Cool. So you literally just take this container, take the cap to it. Um, oh, oh, God, stop. We're, we're not professionals. <laughs> um, so busting. you take this cap and literally just one capful of the tequila equals two ounces. So you put the two ounces of tequila in there and then you're going to fill it halfway with the St. Germain and then put that in there with the muddled cucumber and the lime juice. You muddle it all up and then you're going to throw it into one of these bad boys um, with some crushed ice. Shake it up and then add it into your cup with the ice and everything you guys because um, we've done it straight up before and it's better over ice. So this is called the creme de cacti. Get a fun cup you guys, it makes all the difference. <laughs> Put a cucumber on there or a lime, but I like the cucumber aspect of it because it's showing people it's not just like your typical lime margarita. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I'm gonna drink it. It's one it. of our favorites. <laughs> <laughs> I've been waiting for this all night. <laughs> Don't look at us like you're not going to pass it. <laughs> oh my God. Like beyond. You guys, this is my favorite so far. You have to make this. It's refreshing. It's tequila. It's delicious. <laughs> totally the winner. It's the winner Have so I said far. that every time? But I, I actually have. mean it this time. I think you have, but that was the winner. <laughs> mm. You don't good. miss the agave either, do you? I don't miss the agave. I love the smell of it because I think I like that that's smell. really important. It smells fresh and cucumbery, but mm -hmm. honestly, what I think I like the best is the crushed ice. Yeah, crushed ice. You get yeah. a little bit of like it the makes iciness it. in there. It makes it just yeah. like any margarita. Like I don't like frozen margaritas. I like them to have like the crushed ice in there. She's a <laughs> stealer. Okay, so with that said, those were the ones that we had made in advance, but we're gonna show you guys a couple too while we're on here. Um, so Kat, why don't you get started with yours first? Okay, so I am going to be making an espresso martini. And I will tell you that mm -hmm. from bartending days, this is probably my favorite, favorite type of drink to make because I just like using a shaker cup. Duh. Um, so load this bad boy up Look with at ice. Georgie over there. Georgie's like, what are you making, guys? <laughs> yeah. Actually, you guys, he you literally has just <laughs> been, yeah, he's been begging for the cucumbers. That's what he's doing. Okay, so with the skinny cocktail, it's really important to use your measuring cup, I guess I'm going to call it. Um, because with liquor, you can overdo it and it's really easy to go. Something overdo. really cool to keep in mind, you guys, though, is that with vodka and pretty much any liquor in general, you're looking at about 64 calories per ounce. So, um, really, really not too bad in the grand scheme of things. So that is two ounces of Grey Goose. And then what I'm going to add in there is about half, half an ounce of Amaretto. So about a third or a fourth of this little guy. Add that in there. And like I said, I have a ton of ice in there because what's gonna happen is that there isn't a lot of liquid in this. So this is basically a fresh shot of espresso. We've let it sit for a little while so it's not too warm. Um, and we're gonna add that in there as well. Um, and we're going to do, again, a little drop of stevia, organic drops. A little bit of this goes a long way. Don't so overdo it. I'm probably gonna it. do like two drops, like one, two. And at the end, if I need a little more, I'll add a little more. Oh, sure. um, all right, so I've used my mixer. I'm gonna shake the heck out of this. Oh, she's gonna put the top on first. Uh -huh. <laughs> and let me remind you, shake the heck out of this because the ice is going to melt with the liquor. And you want it. To melt with the and you get a good arm workout. Absolutely. You're burning I mean, calories while you're making yourself. If you really want to get into it, tuck your core in. So what I've done, I've pre, I've pre um, cut a lemon, but what's really important about lemon is it actually will cut the acidity of a drink. So it's really fun to maybe run it around the rim here. So for those of you who don't know what that means, it's going to cut the bitterness in the 
um, coffee that we've put in there. So, so I've shaken it. And you don't think it'll do much, but that little rim does a lot. And this one we serve straight up because she's put a ton of ice in there and it's going nice and cool and delicious. And again, the cup is a little bit larger. Regular martinis are probably about two drinks. Mm -hmm. So this cup isn't going to be as full as what you're used to. This is one serving, Guys, low calorie. It's so pretty full. I mean, it's just not that full for the alcoholic. And then the last thing that we're going to do, I'm going to grab a little spoon. In but here. you guys, if you're following your nutrition plan, then it only takes a little bit so to get you there anyway. So the last thing I'm going to do is Joan and Ryan have this amazing brand of seasonings. This one's called Chocolate Donut by Flavor God. So it's very low calorie. It's, I think it's paleo. I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of that on the top. Looks pretty. Just for that a garnish. So now you've got kind of like your wine drinks. You've got something that's a little bit more like warm in meaning like it's, it seems like dark and like, what are you doing? It smells amazing. Like you should drink this on like a cold night, right? Mm -hmm. And the other ones will be a little lighter. Oh, well, take a sippy. Go ahead. Mm. Take a sippy. It smells chocolatey. I like that her shirt says I won't quit. <laughs> It's amazing. That's actually really yummy. Mm. So good. That's actually really good because it's not sweet, um, but that, that amaretto adds a little bit of almond to it. You could also, if you wanted to just do, um, what did we add in there? We added vodka? Mm -hmm. You could also do vanilla vodka if you prefer, and that might like make it a little sweeter. So that's something you can do. But um, also, you could add in if you want to keep it skinny. You got to kind of do it that way. If you wanted to do a little Kahlua instead of the amaretto, you can. But keep in mind, Kahlua does have more calories than say amaretto. And if you wanted it a little creamier, you could add in some non-dairy milk, like a little vanilla couple tablespoons milk. of vanilla almond milk or something would be great. Totally. Okay, so Katie, you are up, and Katie named her drink, you guys, so it's even more fun. So we had, we had the wine spritzer, we had the espresso martini, we had the champagne drink that we want you to name, creme and we did the creme de cacti. <laughs> so now we're doing Katie's, and Katie's is called the what? Winter goose mule. Yeah. <laughs> goose. It's a winter goose. I'm generally on the opposite side of <laughs> the bar. The bar. <laughs> <laughs> Take a little step out of my comfort zone here. So, lean on my friends here. Am ice. I mixing it in the mixer or right in the cup? Right in the cup. Right in the cup. Ice right in the top. Right on ice. I like it. Put the ice in first. Uh, uh, yeah, great idea. <laughs> Splash of the old ice in the cup. How much I, you know, fill, fill it all up. Fill it right up. You want your mule, like, the reason why it's served in these, like, copper cups is because it keeps it really cold. And when you put ice in there, it almost, like, freezes to the side, and it'll get kind of, like, a frost to the outside of it, which is why you have your handle. It's too lucky. Okay. Perfect. So now she's adding. So, good old friend Kat helps me with two ounces of vodka. What kind of vodka? Grey Goose vodka. So, goose. Goose. That's what name Hence the name. I'm pouring the St. Germain for Katie because the last time I had Katie make a drink for me was St. Germain. I, I think there was that. more St. Germain <laughs> than vodka. And then a little splash of roux. Okay. Um, and then, oh, and that was a half an ounce here of the St. Germain. Maybe we should have opened that in advance. <laughs> Before the, all the, um, yep. <laughs> See? This is, what, this is why friends drink together. <laughs> Ooh, that just like let off a scent that was so yummy. And mm -hmm. this is called Winter Citrus and Berry. Again, hence the, hence the name. And we're just going to fill this up a little bit. Yep. Yeah. And then, should I start a little bit? We'll give it a little stir. <laughs> And then a little splashy splash, and I want to make it pretty on the side. And that's it. That is a low calorie yummy drink. That's actually really good. <laughs> did you see that face? She's so impressed. She's so impressed. She's, so she's, like, she's like, oh my god, I did it, and it's good. Yeah. All right, let's try this. Bathroom. All right, so now are we doing the last one? 
You're doing yep. last Last time. but not least. Oh, that is yummy. Right? Oh, we're going to do, hold on. Kind of a version of a mojito. Yeah, we're gonna do a pomegranate mojito and we're gonna put it in this pretty little glass because why not? Cool. But I'm it's actually gonna enough. use this first too. Mm -hmm. All right. So with this, we do a third of a cup of pomegranate juice. So we're just gonna measure that out. I usually don't measure things, but since we're keeping this light, <laughs> so put that right in there. Okay. And then we're going to do one tablespoon of lime juice. Now guys, like if I was going to make like a regular mojito, I probably would muddle my mojito with muddle the lime juice. But for sake of making this fast, we'll just do the tablespoon this way. So that's your lime juice. This is key lime juice. The best kind. And then we're going to go ahead and do one ounce of rum. Rum. I just use Bacardi. Super Where? duper frozen because it stays in the freezer. Where has all the rum gone? Where is it? So just so you know, this is two ounces. So you just want to do one ounce, which is half of that. And then mm. we are going to do a couple drops of stevia. Not a ton. Boop, boop, boop. And then we're going to actually add in, um, do I have enough in here? Mm, maybe not. Half a cup of, there's another can in the fridge well, too. It might be enough actually. <clears throat> Perfect. Perfect amount. Half that. a cup of champagne. So you can see this is like a really large drink. Um, and honestly, most mojitos are made up with mostly sugar water. And Like you use seltzer and you use lime juice and you use sugar water. So keeping this like a drink that's a little bit more in volume but using the champagne is going to get you. All right, and then, <laughs> Shannon, yes, make these next weekend. We're just going to stir. And then for this one, we're gonna make it super pretty by Ooh. adding in Ooh. some pomegranate to the bottom. And then somebody can just sip on that and like chew on those towards the end. Minty, minty. And then we're gonna go ahead and put the lime on here. And we're gonna put the mint on there, which I like to slap it. Totally. <laughs> Slapping the mint, man. <laughs> and mush it a bit because it makes the flavors come out. And we're going to go ahead and top that with that, too. Oh, that looks so amazing. And I then like a... I can't wait to drink this. I don't even like rum. There you go. That's your skinny mojito. Oh, yeah. It How's is it so taste? pretty. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> These That's have all good. been really good for under That's 100 pretty good. calories. Um, all right. But I typically would put ice in there too. Oh my gosh. Ooh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there you go. That is a pretty drink. Mm -hmm. oh it's my a gosh, pretty drink kidding. and it tastes amazing. Holy moly, right? Oh my gosh, that's really good. So that's it. We tried wow. to Let's run the gamut here. in terms yeah. of We tried Jeez. to run the gamut in terms of like kinds of alcohol, ingredients, that sort of thing. But you know, you guys, it's really For just everybody. some basic staples like some seltzer water, some wine, some champagne, vodka. vodka. A little bit of everything. A little bit of everything. Okay, I'm just gonna quickly show you all the prettiness. Which one would you choose? Yeah, I want to know which one you're gonna make. <laughs> yeah, guys. So you got the creme de cacti. You've got the espresso martini, the winterberry mule, the red wine spritzer, which is kind of a twist, like a cranberry seltzer, like a cranberry lime twist. The one we wanted you guys to name. The mystery drink. Mystery drink. And then you have, of course, your mojito. And then this is just, like, look how pretty. Even keeping these things out, and you could make your own little, like, skinny cocktail bar for other people to kind of come in here and make your for themselves, too. Let's pick one and cheers, guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like this one, this one, and this one the most. Ditto. So, um, and guys, I didn't put them in here because, you know, 
It wasn't that cute. I wish I had some like nice pretty glass ones or something. But you can still throw like a, a little straw in there if you wanted to. Make it a little cute little thing. What should you guys sip on, guys? Cheers. Bye. All right, cheers, y'all. Woo! Skinny cocktail hour. Our very first. All right, guys. Cheers! I hope you're having so much fun in this sneak peek group. Um, you know, you're just getting a glimpse of like the type of people that are in here, how we make it work. We still find ways to make it fun. We do our workouts, we drink skinny cocktails, we put together some amazing recipes that fit the actual container system. Um, you do not have to starve, you do not have to deprive yourself, you do not have to forego a fun holiday season in order to stay in shape or maintain or lose some weight. So I hope you join us. We are going to announce later on that we are doing a swag bag giveaway for anyone who gets started with a challenge pack, you're going to be entered to win that. So we'll go into what that is, and then as people start getting added into the group, we'll start announcing and you guys will be entered. So. Um, hope you had as much fun as we did. We're going to have a cocktail. Have a good night.